If you're trying to develop a robust component design system, then the Class Variance Authority Library is going to be a must need for you, the CVA method. It takes two properties. The first is a bunch of default classes that are going to be applied every single time. Then you can specify an object that is going to have variants inside of it. And these variants are just whatever you want to call them. So example, we have a theme and a size variant. And then we specify the options for those variants. So in our primary theme, we're going to have these different styles be applied. And in our secondary theme, we're applying these different classes here. Same thing with our size, we have our small and medium applying those different classes. Then we also have something called compound variables. So if we have a primary theme and a size of medium, let's also add these additional classes. And then finally, what's the default variant for this going to be? This then returns to us a function we can call and we can pass in all of those different options. So in our case, our theme and our size, as well as any custom class names. And when you do that, it's going to take all of the code that you defined up here based on the different properties you pass in and give you all of the correct different class names.